And now, live from our studios in San Marcos, California, it's another episode of Fix Your Funnel Friday. And here's your host, Ryan Chapman. Welcome to Fix Your Funnel Friday. Now, today's episode has a little more somber tone because we're going to be talking about the marketing industry's over-dependence on email. Much like the United States' dependence on foreign oil, the marketing community has become overly dependent on email. But we're going to be talking about how you can break your dependence on email. That doesn't mean we stop using email, just like we wouldn't stop using oil in the United States. But we can actually reduce our dependence on email by paying attention to some of the key fundamentals of marketing communication. So why do people rely so heavily on email in their marketing? Well, it's pretty easy to understand. Email is inexpensive and relatively easy to use. And because it's easy to create and send, we tend to depend on it quite heavily. Now, in particular with Infusionsoft, it's a big part of that application and it's a big part of the default functionality or media channels that you have to work with. So it additionally makes sense that you would use it. However, uh, marketing legend Dan Kennedy said that over-dependence on email actually cost money. And I thought that was an interesting perspective. What he pointed out is that we have a limited amount of uh, attention capital. And when we overuse our attention capital by barraging our prospects with emails or even our clients with emails, sometimes we can lose out on having their attention when we really need it. So besides the cost of attention to detail, there's also massive competition in the inbox. Um, I don't know what your email inbox looks like, but my email inbox is crazy. In fact, I don't even like to go there. When I do go there, I have to go quickly and just look for clients or um, customers' needs, and I try and nail those out, but I am not reading a whole lot of marketing messages just because I don't have time and there's so much competition there. And I'm pretty sure your prospects are running into the same thing. So what are you to do? Well, there's actually some things that can enhance the effectiveness of your email. Um, you probably would expect me to mention SMS. Now, SMS, please, let's keep SMS as a marketing preserve, free from overly barraging our customers with messages of a marketing nature. We can, however, still make SMS very compelling in our marketing efforts by using it to promote um, education or information that would be valuable that may not be directly soliciting business. Uh, I like to see people using e uh, SMS to indicate that there is an important email in the inbox that they need to pay attention to or that may be timely in nature. That's one way that we can use SMS to enhance our email readability. Um, it also adds another dimension to our communication with our customer, which becomes extremely valuable. Besides that, there's direct mail. Now, that's the principal thing I want to talk to you about today because direct mail traditionally is viewed as being difficult or hard. You need to send a certain number of units out. Um, if it's not a certain number of units, it's maybe expensive and, and difficult to get set up. You have to go back and forth with the printer, make sure they actually have what you want. And if you have merged data, you have to export data. So it gets to be a little bit of a hassle. So one of the alternatives that we, um, and why do, I have a particular type of media format that I'm fairly fond of. And the reason why is actually illustrated in this picture here. I'll try and get a, a scan of it so you can see it. But this is a picture from Dan Kennedy's recent gold newsletter. And you'll see right here that, that this is a FedEx ad and it's kind of pointing out the FedEx envelope as opposed to all the other mail that's hitting the inbox. Some people may argue direct mail is just as much in competition for attention as the email inbox. And I would say that the quantity is significantly lower, but there's a particular format that I have found to be very, very effective at getting opened. And just like with email, direct mail is only effective if it's opened in red. And this is the format. Um, you may recognize this as an invitation size letter. Uh, traditionally, this might have something like a birthday card from your grandmother inside, or maybe a birthday card from a friend, and maybe traditionally there would be like a gift card or cash. If you were like my grandma, that's what you got from her. And so, check later on, but cash in the beginning, right? Now, that format is always open. I can tell you without a doubt that that is always open. And one of the services that we've used to make it as easy as email is send out cards. So this is a sample send out card that you could send through that service. And this is done in a one-off 
It's not expensive. You're not making big commitments. Um, so you can send one card to a customer. It does have simple merging available into it. You'll see right here, you wouldn't know it because I wouldn't want to disrupt this card. This is from one of our employees received from a friend of ours named Travis Tolstrup. And his name is merged into there. It looks like handwriting. This is actually a font. And uh, it looks like Matt was sent this card and it had a little gift card attached. And this was just a custom message that this was a particular one-off that Travis sent to Matt. But this could be part of a campaign that was sent out on a customer or a prospect's birthday that met certain criteria. Now the downside to send out cards, you'll see it has their logo on the back and their information there. And it's quite a bit of that they're using up here just to promote their business. That's the downside. Um, also, you can only merge first name and last name, which can kind of be a bummer if you're trying to get more information across. But still a great way to be able to communicate a message. You may look at this also and say, well, there's not very much space to you know, put copy in that would be your, your marketing message like you would in an email. And that's kind of true. They have some different formats. But this is really easy to set up um, well, well, with Fix Your Funnel you can set it up where it's just a simple post and boom, you've got a card going out just as easy as sending out an email. Now another service that we recently added on is called Zen Direct. And Zen Direct, this is a sample of one of their cards. This is their trifold card. And you can kind of see the amount of copy I could get in there. Now you notice there's some red circles on this card. Um, these are merge elements that I have merged into the actual front of the card. You see I also merged in, in this case I'm just merging in their name, but I could have merged in any data from a contact record. So there's the name again. Um, and all of this copy that I have on this trifold, and by the way this card was very well received, there's the name again. This is a URL that was particular for them. And then this is their city uh, location, which was also kind of helpful for the copy and the message that was in there. Um, also you'll notice on the back of the card I still have complete control over that and I also had a little message with their name merged in again. And so this is uh, Zen Direct. This is a, a new integration that we have on uh, Fix Your Funnel. And that makes it even easier to communicate whatever message you need to communicate, merging in whatever data you need to merge in, such as appointment reminders, anything like that, into a direct mail piece. And again, one off, just like you would an email, totally customized, just like you would an email, and yet, even though it's simple and easy, it's much more effective at getting past all the clutter and the competition. So if you haven't worked direct mail into your follow-up sequences, I recommend that you do that now. The reason why is because it's only gonna get worse with our dependence on email. Um, more and more people are finding creative ways. I don't know if you recently saw Twitter allowed people to do one-click opt-ins through Twitter cards, and that means more people are gonna be getting into people's email list which means more and more competition for you so pay attention to your dependence on email do what you can to break that dependence and gain liberty to be able to fight the war of marketing in a much more effective manner so that you can communicate your message to your prospects and your customers so that they'll be able to invest in more of your products and services thanks for joining me on today's fixture funnel um, friday if you'd like to get a in-depth overview of how you can use direct mail in your campaigns to fight your dependence on email. Go ahead and text mail to the phone number on the, the screen right now. And when you do that, you're going to be able to get a special link that will show you how we use direct mail with Infusionsoft with it being just as easy as email.